Hey guys, and welcome to a very quick recipe video. I am going to make one of my family's favorite and easiest dinners, which is beef roast in the crock pot. Now, I typically put it in my very cheapy, uh, you know, $20 Black Friday crock pot. Today, we're gonna try out this Kasori uh, crock pot type of a thing. When it showed up, my husband was like, what is it? What does it do? It's basically a very fancy crock pot is what I think it is. So we're gonna do my tried and true recipe in this guy and see how it works. This video is not sponsored. However, Kasori did send me the product to try out and see if I liked it. So we're gonna try it out right now. Fresh, out of the box. I got the whole thing washed and I turned it on to the saute dial so I can sear my roast in here before I do the slow cooker. Now, I usually saute it, you know, on the stove because my crock pot doesn't do that. So what's really cool about the Kasori multi-cooker is that it does more than just the crock pot. It sautés, it can be a soup pot, it can roast things. It comes with this cool rack, so if you wanna like turn it into an electric oven, that would be fantastic. I think this would be a really handy tool in like a pop-up tent trailer or something. Onto the recipe, I have a couple pounds of a beef roast right here and one of the best flavorings on the planet. If you don't have this, go buy it. I just get this huge one from Sam's Club and I'm gonna sprinkle it all over every side of this guy and then sear it on all sides. You can totally skip this step if you want to, but if it makes your food taste better, I don't know why you would. I'm gonna put some fat in this thing for the saute portion. I'm gonna stick with my trusty jar of bacon fat. If you don't have one of these, what are you doing with your bacon fat when you're done cooking bacon, people? This is money. While that's searing, I'm gonna mix up my liquid that's gonna go on top of this. It's super easy. We're just gonna do one packet of onion soup mix. I like to have this on hand for like a quick, quick roast dinner if I'm like, oh, I don't know what to make for Sunday dinner. Roast is always a good option. One cup of beef broth. I just use the beef bouillon and some water. It's always worked fine for me. We're gonna give that a little stir. So as soon as this guy's done searing, I'm gonna throw this on top with a huge bowl full of veggies. Veggies I'm using today are celery, onions, and carrots. Sometimes I add potatoes, but today I wanted to do mashed potatoes, so I'm doing those separately. So, huge bowl of veggies. That's as easy as it gets, you guys. Just the liquid, the veggies, put the lid on, cook for six to eight hours. Pretty hard to mess up. from the Kasori slow cooker. It looks pretty good. I actually made these mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot and these green beans are from my garden. Isn't it beautiful? It's a pretty delicious looking dinner. Really good. Basically always a winner. Yum, yum, yum. First impression on the Kasori multi-cooker is that there's a little bit of a learning curve. <laughs> I just need to figure out the settings, really. As far as cleanup, Dave gives it like a 10 out of 10. A breeze to clean, way easier than the crock pot. It cools off really fast because it's not stone. It's like a really light metal. I feel like it's a lot like your frying pan. To clean. Metal. Yeah. It cleans like a Teflon pan, yeah. but it's not Teflon, which is so interesting. Blood twist. <laughs> Anyway, link down below if you guys wanna check it out at all. Um, obviously, this recipe I normally cook in the crock pot on low for eight to 10 hours. Uh, you can totally do regular crock pot and it will work fantastic. And I thought it was delicious. What did you think? It was delicious. It was delicious. What did you think? It was delicious. <laughs> Dave was like, ooh, that dinner. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. 
that was good. Click on his face if you want to see any of the recipes I've done and click on her face if you want to subscribe. See you in the next video.